and my record was one and one. My one loss was a disconnection. Actually, I was playing against some. Oh, Jerry West, baby, mid-range assassin. He double pumped it. And I'm gonna get in the lane right here. I'm gonna do a three. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jimmy buckets with a 360 layup. Hey guys, I'll be bringing you my next gameplay video. I want to let you know that this isn't live commentary. This will be post commentary because this was a late night game. So I wasn't able to record live commentary, but I will still be giving you guys full gameplay because that's what you guys wanted. So this will be about a 20 minute video of me doing straight up commentary, you know, at home. <laughs> it's kind of crazy because I'm talking by myself in my room, right? So it looks... I have to get used to it. I'm still, you know, trying to improve my commentary game. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know in advance. And also, I live in a noisy neighborhood. It's Sunday, so, you know, the kids are outside, the cars are outside, the birds are outside. And my chair that I'm using right now is super, super squeaky. So I'm not going to guarantee a perfect commentary, but I'm going to do my best for you guys. So about this gameplay video, if you guys saw the starting lineup, my opponent has Chauncey Billups as a starting guard. He has Kevin Durant at shooting guard. He has J.R. Smith. He has Shane Battier at the four. And Kevin Garnett as his center. And look at Rudy Gobert missing layups. The beginning of this game. Missing so many inside shots. <laughs> and look at this. Another inside shot that's missed. So I'm not sure what it is about this game. But I feel like a lot of layups in the paint and easy shots in general inside get blocked way too easily and and or they miss way too easily I don't know if that's just me but that's what I you know that's what I realized in this first few gameplays that I've played in this short time I played in NBA Live 19 because I haven't played that many games yet on this ultimate team like I said this is only my second or third game so my gameplay is still a little bit sloppy I have to get used to the you know the mechanics the animations of these players the passing because i've been playing 2k all year so it's kind of kind of odd for me right now so this first quarter was a lot of uh <laughs> misses back and forth and he finally made a layup in the paint so it's three to two after two minutes of action which is crazy but at the same time it just shows how the defense is the defense can be at times really good on this game and sometimes can be very bad so you know it has his moments <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but i'm pretty sure you know what i mean you know sometimes the defense can be great sometimes it's eat <laughs> i don't know man i don't know what i'm saying right now because i'm doing this commentary in one shot so it's going to be 20 minutes can you imagine talking to the mic 20 minutes straight kevin durant with the pull up so definitely I'll be choking on some words, <laughs> some sentences won't be, you know, as perfect. Sentences, see I just messed up that word as I was saying it. Jimmy Gettler, Jimmy Gettler, wow, why did it say Gettler? <laughs> Jimmy Butler, I was thinking of Gobert and I mixed up the words. So Jimmy Butler gets fouled inside. I gotta learn how to speak slower. And what I think is that Jimmy Butler and Miles Turner, look at that, they're right beside each other. I think they look the same. So when I'm trying to play fast and I just pass the ball, they look really identical. So sometimes I pass to Turner thinking it's Butler and I pass to Butler thinking it's Turner. And it messes me up sometimes as Kevin Durant makes a bad pass out of bounds. Really sloppy first quarter, honestly, by both teams, but what can you expect? I don't know. This was his third game too, right? I think his record was 1-2. and two, And my record was 1-1. One and one. My one loss was a disconnection, actually. I was playing against some... Oh, Jerry West, baby! Mid-range assassin. So, yes. I was playing against a guy and then it lagged out, but I got the loss. I'm sure it's happened to all of you guys, you know, when you play against someone... Oh my goodness, my computer is so loud. Do you guys hear that? I don't know why my computer does that randomly but anyways like I was saying I was playing against an opponent and then NBA live servers disconnected and I'm the one that got the loss 
It happened so many times on NBA Live 18, 17, and you know, all the other lives I've played where it gets disconnected, but I'm the one that gets the loss. I don't know what what it is. Look at Jimmy Butler going in the lane. I don't get the foul there. I thought that was going to be one because of that animation he got. He double pumped it. And I'm going to get in the lane right here. I'm going to do a three. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jimmy Buckets with a 360 layup. That is something I do not expect from Jimmy Butler doing those crazy acrobatic layups. Those are layups you see from Kyrie Irving or, you know, crafty guards like that. But from Jimmy Butler, I would expect, you know, tough layups or a dunk. But 360, that's unexpected. But this is what I expect from him, though. I get a block manually. Jimmy Butler with the block. Coast to coast dunk, baby. So we're up by 12 points so far. Great start by our squad. Jimmy Butler is killing it. He gets a wide open shot here. I think he's going to miss this one. <laughs> I think he's trying to get used to his players as well. You know, he doesn't know the releases. I don't know the releases for my guys. So it's fun. Both guys that are new to the game. Because I remember my first gameplay. If you guys have watched my video on my channel. The guy played like whew, 350 games. And he ended up quitting against me. Which I found hilarious. Seth Curry looks like a little kid next to Tyson Chandler. It's like his dad and son. <laughs> It's like his dad telling his son what not to do. That's hilarious. So the score is 15 to 2. Right now I'm going to make the second one to push it to a 14 point lead. With 43 seconds left in the first quarter. My main goal was just to stop Kevin Durant. And this is also one of the reasons why I purchased Jimmy Butler and Scottie Pippen. You know, it's to guard guys like Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Magic Johnson. You know, players that... Other opponents that I've seen like to use and attack me with. So that's why I got Jimmy Butler and Scottie Pippen. And in this first quarter, you saw some highlights of Jimmy Butler guarding KD. So it was a good matchup, you know, for both of us. You know, KD's definitely some of the best. I said some of the best. I was trying to... <laughs> oh my goodness. Kevin Durant is one of the best scorers in the league. If not, he is the best scorer in the league right now. And Jimmy Butler is one of the best defenders. So it's definitely a great matchup. When you have KD against Jimmy Butler right here, he's going to bring a double team. I'm going to give it to Jerry West. I wanted to pass it inside, but I messed up. Jimmy Butler with a crossover, sexy step back, wide open mid-range. That was hot. <laughs> that was beautiful how he got so much space out of that crossover step back. He didn't know where I was going. So to start the second quarter, we have a good lead. And I hesitated right here because he went for the steal and I was wide open for the three. I didn't know if I wanted to take the mid or drive it in. But then I decided to take the three and I stepped back and he caught back. So that was a mistake on my end. And here I jumped too early. Curry got a three. So I'm still hesitant on this game. Like I said, I'm still learning. You know, what to do and what not to do. If I should drive, if I should shoot. Because sometimes the animations are really slow. Glenn Rice with the three. I called for a screen and he went for it, but I didn't move. So Glenn Rice got a perfect release. That's also why I got him. Obviously, I need a shooter. And speaking of shooters, J.R. Smith knocks down the three. So he's knocked down two threes in the second quarter. And I missed one right there. I think that was a quick shot. That's one of my um, weaknesses, actually, is that sometimes I tend to go away from being patient. And I take quick shots. And then eventually, you know, my opponent gets... You know back into the game and that's why i'm going to be calling a timeout here i need to calm myself down because sometimes i tend to go for quick quick shots you know and that's not good because quick shots usually end up in opponent fast breaks rebounds you know it gets his players hot they can get threes dj augustine makes a layup over two guys i don't know how he did that because i was expecting that to miss honestly because with the first quarter being how it was, we were missing easy laps. I didn't expect that one to go in. So Chauncey Billups gets into the lane. I forgot what he's going to do here. He's going to run in circles. I think he was trying to do a move, but he wasn't able to do it. He's going to call for a screen and roll here with KD. I pick off the pass. And speaking of passing, I think it's really slow. Because Chauncey Billups, that pass to KD was so slow, I was able to intercept it. 
And then my passing with DJ Augustine was pretty slow and this pass right here, that was pretty fast but I feel like the passing on the perimeter sometimes can be slow. I got blocked there. I didn't expect him to jump honestly. I thought he was just gonna you know come manually and try to close out without jumping but I made a mistake. I find Glenn Rice inside, pump fake this time, then I make the layup. So if you watch my previous videos, you know that the pump fake can be a really good friend of yours on the offensive end. Look at that steal by Gobert. We're going coast to coast. I give it to Glenn Rice. Terrible release. <laughs> I missed that so bad. But it's all good. It's a learning curve for me. You know, I gotta get these releases down. You know, get my steam better. That was an early release again. Because I press square and sometimes when I do that, it doesn't happen right away. KD shoots into my face. So like I was saying, when you press square to shoot, sometimes there's a one second delay and sometimes there isn't a delay. So that's why my releases sometimes are so early. And also sometimes they do a stand up shot and sometimes they do a pull up shot when you don't want to do it. So it can really mess you up. DJ Augustine gets in the paint, misses a layup. What's new here, right? So yeah, I gotta get used to the shooting and you know, try to figure out when they're gonna pull up, when they're not gonna pull up when I'm gonna get the one second delay because like I said these are new animations for me I've been used to 2k Shane Batty trying to post up that's crazy so 1 minute 45 left in the game we're playing great defense on this possession KG wide open mid he misses it I'm not gonna lie he had good offensive um, ball movement there but we just rotated quick enough to contest that KG shot but he just missed a wide open wide open shot you know so like I said, both of us were still learning how to use our players. I'm assuming he doesn't know his releases as well. So it's all good. Two new players playing against each other. DJ Augustine gets a green release. He reached in the backcourt, giving you a wide open three. KG going all the way. Miles Turner, Jimmy Butler's twin on this game, gets a block. We're going to push the basketball right here. I'm going to find... Scotty Pippen. Oh my goodness, look at that pass. <laughs> that was a slow pass. KD pulls up for three. Bad turnover on my end leads to a triple by KD. So it is a 14 point game. And this is also one of my weaknesses. I tend to just throw the ball inbound. And my opponent gets a lot of steals like that on me. <laughs> I gotta fix that. So he gets a bucket off my turnover. And then, you know, we're going to try to push it again because I think he's trying to play full court press low key. You know, trying to seal the inbounds passes and everything and I just got to be patient. Because patience in this game will go, will give you a better chance to win. And we make another bad pass there. He gets another interception. I don't know how KD is getting all these steals. I contested that though. But like I said, I don't know how... Uh, what was I saying earlier? I don't know how all these interceptions are happening with KD. I think the passing is just so slow. <laughs> or maybe my passing game is trash. I don't know, it's a mix of both of them I guess. Scotty Pippen misses the layup, I mean sorry, he misses the block here. So it's only a 12 point game, you know, I've been turning the ball over. <laughs> uh, once again I turn it over again on the inbounds. Because a lot of times I like to rush, but it definitely it's not a good strategy, I'm telling you that. As you can see by this gameplay. I was leading big and because of my rushy, you know, antsiness, my opponents are getting back in the game. That's how I give baskets to my opponent, you know, it's because of my antsiness, you know, I don't want to be patient. KD gets a dunk, our defense was in set. So with four seconds left, I'm trying to just throw it in there, give it to Scotty Pippen and watch this, Shane Batty is going to jump like LeBron and blocks Scotty inside. I think that's crazy because... I feel like they go up so weak for the layups in the paint sometimes. Like Scottie Pippen wouldn't do a weak layup like that inside. He would go for a dunk. And Shane Battier wouldn't block that like that. So I think that's crazy. <laughs> so halftime is here and I'm shooting above 50%. Even though I missed all those layups. Alright, so that's a good percentage to, you know, to keep shooting. Hopefully I can keep that in the second half. And this possession right here, I thought this was Jimmy Butler, that's why I tried handling it there, but it was Miles Turner. That's a perfect example of, you know, some confusion on my end. 
So we get the layup here. Luckily, he missed that three. But I gotta get used to Miles and Jimmy Butler, you know. Try to make the difference between these guys. Or else I'll be making more mistakes like that. So now we are up by 11 points. I'm gonna find DJ Augustine right here. He recovers with the crazy block. I didn't expect that to get blocked. I just saw a green shot. <laughs> a green light and I was so excited. But then he ended up blocking me. That was crazy. So he's gonna pass it inside here. But Rudy Gobert is there playing great defense. He was too scared to take it up. That's why I got Rudy Gobert, you know, for that intimidation factor. And watch this right here. Chauncey Billups is going to give it to KG. Mid-range shot. He misses. I honestly think they got KG shot down perfectly. Looks really sweet. Looks like his real-life shot. And he's reaching a lot. Jimmy Butler wide open layup and he misses. Pull the Brandon Knight. How do you miss a layup like that? Wide open. Oh my goodness, that's sad. And he makes the mid-range, of course. So like I said, I miss a lot of layups in this game. I don't know if it's just me, or if it's the game, or like I said. <laughs> it's embarrassing to miss all these layups, especially wide open. Miles Turner, wide open three from his twin brother, and he misses. So now he's going on the break, pulls up for the three with Chauncey Billups. He's climbing right back into this game. I'm missing layups, missing wide open threes, and his capitalizing. He's playing some pressure defense if you haven't noticed. He's reaching a lot, playing really close defense. And honestly, he's going to play some great one-on-one -on -one defense here with Chauncey Billups. Look at his on-ball defense, it's pretty good. Step back three in his face, that goes in somehow. <laughs> I got bailed out, I think. But still, he played great defense with Billups. It makes me wonder... Which Billups does he have? Because there's a lot of versions of Chauncey Billups in this game. I wonder what's the rating. Because when you go in the starting lineups and you look at your opponent's squad, you don't see their ratings. I think he took it personally because he's going to try to come right back and attack DJ Augustine with Billups. But I'm playing great defense just like he was. He misses the pull-up three. So I don't mind it though, you know. He's playing manual defense. I'm playing manual defense. This is what I like. You know, people that play straight up. You know, not those off-ball cheesers. I really like playing people like this, it's really fun. And these are rare games to play on live because a lot of people, they end up quitting in the first quarter or, you know, they're just big cheesers. And honestly, this guy was down big in the first quarter. So props to him for not quitting and, you know, to keep on playing this game against me because um, these games are hard to find on live, honestly. Full games against people that, you know, don't cheese and play man-to-man, -man, it's, it's really fun when you find these people. So Jimmy Butler gets the steal, but he goes out of bounds. I'm still trying to find a nickname for Jimmy Butler and Miles Turner because they have the same accessories on their legs, same big headband, and they look just alike <laughs> on this game. Because the graphics, you know, aren't that great, but it's decent. But when you look at them from far, they look pretty much the same except their numbers. So there's two minutes left in the game. I am up by nine. I'm just... <laughs> making mistakes on the offensive end Chauncey Billups gets another wide open 3 but luckily for us he misses that shot so Glenn Rice is going to try to get a 3 point shot he reached near half court so that gave me the opening that I needed to get a 3 off because if he didn't reach I don't think I would have been able to get by him he gets a 3 right back with KD oh snap that was J.R. Smith <laughs> I thought that was KD because his offense was mainly Kevin Durant, so uh, I was thinking it was Kevin Durant, but it's all good. So right now, we got Miles Turner and Jimmy Butler near each other. I was trying to call for a screen, but it wasn't working, so I ended up taking this bad mid-range shot. I don't know why I did that, honestly. I think I was trying to go for a step back. It didn't work out. Kevin Durant gets a mid. He misses. So his missing his shots is just like me. So that had a wide open three right there, but I didn't take it. I was hesitating. Because sometimes when you come off those animations, those step backs, or, you know, those other type of moves that they have on this game, when you press square, it doesn't happen right away. So I thought it, the release, I would get it messed up. So that's why I didn't shoot it. But I end up taking that standing three-point shot in his face. I don't know why I did that. I should have just taken the first shot initially. And he makes me pay with Kevin Durant. Makes a three-point basket. Now it's a six-point game. So we're choking the lead. Jimmy Butler gets a layup. Much needed. Because Jimmy Butler, honestly, I missed two shots with him. 
and his mentality was going down so that layup was really helpful to get it back to its normal state because if you looked at Butler on the previous possession the arrow is pointing downwards and look at Kevin Durant got me with a step back move right here and he makes two threes back to back so after missing open shots Kevin Durant is starting to heat up and he gets another steal right here I don't know how he's getting all these steals I think it's mainly because my dribbling is low. Jimmy Butler only has an 84 dribble rating and Batty makes a 3. So now it's a 2 point game and he's on a 12 to 2 run. If I could get a basket here it would be huge because it's only a 2 point game. I'm going to try to run a screen here with Jerry West. I should have passed it to Glenn Rice in the corner honestly but I messed up and we missed the shot. So now it's only a 2 point game. The fourth quarter is coming up. Hopefully I can play better, get some better shots, play better defense, and take care of the ball because that's going to be what decides this matchup eventually. Alright, so the fourth quarter is finally here. Two-point game. Kevin Durant has the ball. We're playing some great on-ball defense right here. This is why I got Jimmy Butler for situations like this. But obviously... <laughs> I was getting too antsy there. I wanted to get a steal, but I got a foul call. It's all good. I just gotta contain KD. Look at Scotty Pippen with the steal. Beautiful defense. Augustine. I thought he was gonna miss that layup with that bounce there. But luckily he made that shot. So huge stop by Scotty. And now we're back with Jimmy Butler. Guarding him one-on-one. -on -one. He passes it out. Off a curl, misses the mid-range. Thank goodness. Bad pass by Rudy Gobert though. I should have passed it to my point guard. I keep forgetting the passing on this game. I'm not too good with it yet, so got to get used to it. So with this four-point lead, we got to keep playing defense. Only four minutes left. We can win this basketball game. He's going to try to run a screen here. KG has the ball. He doesn't shoot the mid. He has a mismatch. We bring the double team. He's going to pass it out. I jump a little bit too early. He gets a mid-range. I think he released that way too late. Did you see that delay on his shot? <laughs> I think he lied or he just missed it. But anyways, Jimmy Butler gets in the lane. Dunk. Let's go. Finally happy he dunks the ball because a lot of times they go for those weak layups. Even though I'm pressing the right trigger to get a dunk but they always do those layups KD misses a wide open three he's gonna shoot it again in my face he misses back to back triples we can push the basketball and extend this lead he's leaving DJ for a quick second I think he was gonna try to intercept that pass inside but I didn't pass it he brings a triple team right here I see Jimmy in the corner the pass was a little bit late so there's only four seconds I had to take that shot no choice Better than a shot clock violation. KD's coming up the court. I'm right there with Scotty in his face. He's going to do a step back. Passes it out. I think he's scared now. <laughs> he's nervous trying to get this mismatch here. But this is beautiful defense by Rudy Gobert. Woo, look at that defense, boy. Right there in his face. Three seconds left. I bring the help. Makes him stutter a little bit. Misses the inside shot. <laughs> KG had a wide open layup over DJ Augustine and he missed it. So like I said, the inside shots on this game is very questionable. He missed the easy one there. So now it's an 8 point lead. Kevin Durant is going to step back for 3. I timed it. Got a contest. What is he doing with KD? Is he going to reach? He's not reaching. I get into the paint. Wide open midi. I missed the shot though. But I'm hustling back. You see that? I get another wide open shot. I miss again. I missed two easy shots in a row. I couldn't get the releases down. KD pulls up for three. KD has gone ice cold now. After getting back in the game in the third quarter. He's missing his shots in the fourth. But we got to credit our defense. And now we're on a run. It's a double digit lead right now. So KD passes it inside. Look at Pippen with the beautiful recovery block. That is something you expect out of him. That's why I purchased him. DJ for three. So it's a 13 point game. It looks like this game is now sealed in the bag. 
Katie's gonna shoot it again, but he ends up passing out of a shot. He ends up turning it over. And that should be the end of this game. And my computer is going crazy again. I don't know if you can hear the... Oh my gosh, my computer is going crazy. Every time I'm editing videos, the fan of my computer goes so loud. Because when you edit videos, it takes so much power. So <laughs> I guess that's what's happening right now. Sorry about the fan, guys. Nothing I could do there. I get another wide open shot to end the game. I miss it. I really got to learn the releases of my players. I'm missing wide open mids. I can't be missing that many shots in my next game. He misses a layup inside again. What's more classic in this game? Missing layups inside. But it's all good. We end up winning the game by 10 points. He ended up coming back in the third. We played great deal on Durant on the fourth quarter. So we ended up getting 3,000 coins for that game. 720 for having a 10 point spread. We won the rebounding battle. We shot nearly 50% from the field. Rudy Gobert with 13 rebounds, Scottie Pippen and Jimmy Butler with 2 steals each. His highest score is Kevin Durant with 18, but he shot a poor field goal percentage. And look at Shane Battier, they labeled him as a playmaker, since when was he a playmaker? <laughs> and they couldn't even get a photo for Shane or Chauncey Billups. And he has Iverson off the bench, he didn't even play him. Look, he has Iverson off the bench. I'm surprised he didn't play Iverson. But look at KD, 30% from the field. So if you enjoyed it, please drop a like, drop a comment. This was a 26 minute commentary. Pretty crazy if you ask me. So leave some feedback and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow G Flash on Twitter.